My name is Gwendolyn Paris. Um, I'm a Jamaican American painter and multimedia artist. <laughs> I just got into painting like about a year and a half ago, but before I did that, I did photo editing and photography. Um, but around November of last year, before my birthday, I kind of just got into painting and like just didn't look back. First and foremost, um, my blackness and the complexities of black identity um, inspire my art, um, self-love and self-affirmation, um, the love of being a trans person in a world that tells you that you're not supposed to love yourself. Just like all of that combined kind of just informs my artistic expression. My art has a focus on trans femininity and the feelings of love and belonging um, and just kind of just pouring into yourself and not only affirming yourself but affirming the people around you and the people that you love because I always remind myself that like love is so important and self-love is the most important thing that you can have so I just kind of just practice that because the first few of my paintings were self-portraits and I kind of was just like trying to focus on appreciating the person that I am. I want people to have a look into the love that I have for the people around me and kind of maybe have that reflected in their relationships with their friends. It's easy to forget the people that are around you and just kind of like lose touch and it's I feel like people kind of just need to get back to just being just showing love to the people around them even like just like little things I often incorporate um, aspects of my transness and blackness in the bodies and figures that I paint and initially I painted the uh, my first paintings with the skin tone blue to represent dark skin um, because people used to say that I was I, my skin was blue. <laughs> um, so I kind of just took that and um, reclaimed it and then it kind of just stuck. <laughs> I like to grow and connect with friends artistically and I take the opportunities that I get and just try and open, like try and invite people with me along. Um, and even just, not even just inviting people along with me, but affirming them so they feel like they can also create um, and just show the world their type of artistic expression. Because I feel like the world needs more art. <laughs> Um, I feel that the legacy that I'm creating through my art is a sort of reminder to pour into yourself the same way that you pour into others and to affirm yourself uh, constantly. And even if you feel like you're kind of being conceited, sometimes you deserve to be. <laughs> it means a lot because for a long time, I didn't think that people saw value in my work. And initially I started painting just out of like, uh, just out of boredom and like not having anything, anything else to do. And when people started to see value in my work and wanted to like, you know, show it in galleries or even buy it, it kind of took me off guard. And even like um, people reaching out to me, it I was surprised because I was just like, I don't know, I kind of have like, uh, imposter syndrome <laughs> but it just means a lot to be a part of a cool capsule collection and thank you for this brilliant smile whatever you're doing to keep those pearly whites white you do that this gives me a whole bunch of light you just you just shine i'm just like oh when do i smile please always smile at me can we be friends you just smile you just like mm -hmm. 
I'll smile back at you. We'll just send each other smiling pictures. That's all. Exactly.